this is the grow effect and how you can apply it in After Effects. Once inside your composition, go into the project panel and drag one of the images or photos of your liking into the composition. To scale it down, hold shift, grab one of the corner and drag at the same time. Then go into the proportional grid to get the image a little bit more symmetric. Then duplicate your layer by hitting Ctrl D, once again holding shift and drag the new image to the right on the perfect line horizontally. Remove the proportional grid again, hit Ctrl T to get up the text tool. And here we will write grow in for the first effect to apply. Then move it around somewhere around the first image to the left. Hit Ctrl D again to duplicate the layer. And with this new layer, we will type in grow out. Again, we will mark the layer, hit the shortcut V to be able to mark it. Then hold shift and drag it to the right proportionately in the same line horizontally as to grow in underneath the right image. Then we go into effects and presets and search for grow and for the image to the left we will be applying the grow in effect and you can just mark it drag and drop first over the image then over the text. Then for the next image we will use the grow out effect and drag and drop this as well. You can tweak the settings a little bit and for the top one the duration slider here the number represents the amount of seconds it takes for the animation to take place. You also have the options to choose personality, from soft, smooth, strong, energetic and loud. You have some more settings and you can go to the shutter angle as well if you want to add some blur to it from 0 to 360. The higher the number, the more blur you get. And you can also choose the sampling if you want to have bilinear or bicubic. And for these simple animations, the bilinear will work just fine. Then we repeat the process for the next image and the next two text layers. Hit spacebar and this is your final animation.